We are here at Point Reyes National Seashore in Northern California, about an hour and a half north of San Francisco. This area was set aside in 1962 in part to preserve the diminishing coastline of California. One of the species is the myrtle silver spot butterfly. Orange and black, it's a fairly large butterfly, but smaller than a monarch. And on the underside of its hind wings, it has silver spots. In 1998, we weren't sure of its existence. Only 20 individuals had been counted in this area that we're in now. The Myrtle Silverspot Butterfly was listed in 1992 as endangered. In order to determine something is endangered, studies are done looking at the, the full habitat or area of the range that an animal's found. And if it seems that the, the numbers are so low that it could go extinct in a sh short number of years, then it's listed as endangered. A threatened species is one that is moving toward this endangered listing. This butterfly would be a good indicator of the health of the ecosystem in general. And if the butterfly's populations are failing, then that means that something's going wrong out here. And we need to try and figure out what that is and make a remedy if that's possible. And so if it's doing well, then probably chances are the rest of the ecosystem is doing pretty good too. There's two population centers that we've been working with. One in this area in North Beach that goes from about Abbott's Lagoon south to Drake's Beach. And they'll use the dunes primarily, but then also the grasslands for laying eggs. In Tamales Point area at the very far north um, of the peninsula, there's another population that seems to use a different group of nectar sources because there's no coastal dunes up in that area, and also lay eggs in that same area. With this species, the larvae are very hard to find. They, they tend to hide. They often feed during the night or early morning, late evening. So in this case, we're, we're studying the adult butterflies in order to get population counts. The female butterflies lay eggs in late summer, early fall, and the eggs hatch a couple weeks later, and they exist as very, very small, a couple millimeter long caterpillars throughout the winter. And in the spring, they wake up and they go through more growth cycles, about six growth cycles, where they become bigger and bigger larvae. The adult flight season lasts from about mid-June to early September. So during that period of time, they're flying around looking for nectar sources. Females will be looking for violets to lay eggs. The violets are important to the butterfly because it's the larval host plant. The violet is the only plant that the larvae can feed off of. This specific butterfly, the myrtle silver spot, uses just viola adunca, the western dog violet. The butterflies uh, have very sensitive chemosensory organs, mainly in their antenna, and they can actually smell the plants. The plants give off some chemical odor. They fly up nearby, see if it's a suitable plant, and then they'll uh, lay their eggs nearby the plant. So there's uh, about four different aspects of our research that we're doing. One are the violet surveys. Another is, is the actual counts of the butterflies. Uh, additionally, we can get some information on the types of plants that the butterflies are using. We frequently see them nectaring on flowers when we're out doing our surveys. Another aspect of our research that we do are uh, surveys of these actual nectar plants. We go into the dunes specifically because that's what we consider the prime habitat and the most threatened. And we go through with a tape measure and do 50 meter transects and look along those along the tape measure and try and count how many nectar plants are there. One of the main reasons um, and goals behind this two year intensive study of the myrtle silver spot butterfly is so we can track the butterfly's population and the nectar sources it relies on to develop a management plan. When there's a problem, we have some tactic we can take 
to improve the habitat for the butterfly and increase its numbers.